porn is really becoming a problem. <clears throat> and let's first be clear. I'm a sex therapist. Sex is good. Sex is healthy. Things that make sex fun are wonderful. Porn can be wonderful. It can, you know, help make our sex lives better. It can get, it gets us excited. It gives us ideas. It can do all kinds of wonderful things. So I'm not against porn. It's the energy we bring into it. Like anything else that causes stimulation, the addictive stimulation that addict brains crave. It's intensified, and thanks to the internet, it's really intensified. So you go on the internet, you can get anything, anytime. And our primitive brains are not equipped to deal with that, with as the levels of stimulation that are in our society today. So on the one hand, you have the trauma basis of addiction. Something happened to me when I was young that gave me the message, I internalized the message, I'm not good enough, I'm worthless, I'm not important. And then I grow up trying to escape the pain of that. And I discover that when I do something that is very pleasurable, I don't feel that pain. And that's all unconscious. But this is compounded, this porn problem is compounded by just the availability that kids have always looked at porn. You know, we can go back to cave drawings, you know, on cave walls that, uh, you know, it's been around. People love erotica, love pornography. Now with the internet, it's porn on crack, on meth. It's so intensified that even without the basic trauma, a lot of people are getting addicted to it because they just do more and more. And that caveman brain, what I call the caveman brain, which is the limbic system where our emotions are, it's our survival brain. And that isn't equipped to handle the level of stimulation that we get in, in today's modern world, especially from porn. So what does it do? It resets the bar. If I've been getting this much stimulation, then it sets the bar here so I don't get so much. But then I'll, I'll want that stimulation. I want more because I remember how good it feels. So I start searching out more and then the brain resets. And so clearly now life is out of control. My life is out of control. I need more and more. I need more extreme type porn. And this is where we see people are really getting addicted to um, things that they never would have been turned on by a year ago, six months ago. They might have been horrified to think about the things they're getting turned on by. But they, they are seeking that higher level of stimulation. So we have the trauma basis. We have the just uh, becoming accustomed to it. Both ways, it's a huge problem in today's society because it's really interfering with the ability to just have relationships with real people in real time. And that's negatively impacting that in so many ways where people are going after their addictive behavior instead of being with people, but when they're with a real person, they're being hypercritical because no real person can match what's going on in porn. They're seeking the, the things that a lot of us would just enjoy in lovemaking or sexual behavior. Um, no longer, it, it's not even on the radar. It's so far down here when you're meeting up here. So it's a huge problem.